Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again, and it's time for our Factorio Death World Extreme play. I am super excited for this one to bring you guys along with the crazy. It's going to be um, extreme. That's that's good, I'm glad it's in the title because it's going to be extreme. We have a map seed that we've already got, and we're going to go ahead with this one. Basically it's Death World Plus. So um, all the settings here you can see. Take a screenshot if you like, or whatever. Pause it, whatever that is. Um, but here's the settings. All these are the same as a normal Death World. The only difference is we have changed the starting area to very small. We are going to be doing about 20 minute episodes, hopefully coming out on, on the daily here for you. Um, I'm going to be going as quickly through this as I possibly can uh, to make sure we can actually get things rolling here and try not to get us dead right away. Uh, so I'll try to describe things as we go for those of you who have not experienced the uh, um, Death World features yet or settings yet. Um, certain things that are gonna be different for us is that we are on this extreme version, our very small starting point uh, I described it in the intro video, uh, the announcement video. Hopefully uh, you get a chance to look at that one uh, right away. But um, basically what it means is that this is the big difference to regular. The biters are literally right up our noses to begin with. This is as tight as you can make it. Normally you got like all this space out here that they can't touch. Uh, we're untouchable, or we're normally untouchable in that setting. And so you can kind of go hog wild at the beginning. Look at this. Our pollution is already stretching almost our whole visible space with one thing working. So not cool. Um, kind of going to be crazy. We will see where we get for it. So um, yeah, going to have to go get some stone, get things going real quick here and see where we lie. Okay, uh, let's go find some stone. We got these big blocks here. They take eight seconds to harvest and they give you 20 stones. If you can find any on your map, I don't think there's any right around nearby not in a little bit of a pre-try I've done but um, that are huge they're they take 25 seconds to harvest and uh, you get a huge chunk 200 stone from those ones that's a big big kicker um, expensive things like the boiler or burner insert oh hey let's not go up any closer to those bases that would be death incarnate um, yeah, that's a biter base really close. I'll point the mouse over to show you what's over there. Yeah, big worm, medium worm, a big worm. We're not going to get by him anytime soon. <clears throat> so we're basically going to have to really heavily turret appropriately in such a way that keeps the bad guys out. There's our stone patch. It's not huge, but it'll get us going for the first quite a while of the game. There's got to be another uh, stone or two around this way. There's one here. Let's hack our way through that. Um, hopefully there's still enough fuel over there boiling away. Oh no, I didn't put all this fuel in the machine. That's unfortunate. Well, there's one. Do a little circle here, get as many uh, furnaces as we can get set up. We are not going to be too quick until we get our first tech to go ahead with any smelting lines right off the hop, but I don't want to overdo our focus on uh, um, I don't want to overdo our focus on the small uh, the burner miners and stuff. We can hopefully get pretty quickly into electric drills and the like, but let's go there and there. Oh, you know what? I should have been harvesting. Oops. Not going to be an ideal super fast startup, but we will at least get a good kicker in the first episode here so we can get things going. Click away, my friends. 
So everything's more expensive. The uh, burner insert, or burner drills rather, take 30 um, iron plates, and they essentially take, I think, 10 stone because it's two furnaces to make. But that's odd because furnaces aren't more expensive, but burner drills cost two furnaces and a ton more stuff. So a new feature, just hold your con left control and your left mouse button and whoop, right across, and you pick it up. It's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Keep harvesting. We have 13 burner uh, uh, furnaces. We're going to need four of them, six, eight of them for our coal production. <clears throat> We're going to need to go get more stone, for sure. That's 28. We can go ahead with one of them. Seven. Do a little bit more fueling. Until we've got our burner, next burner drill. One more burner drill should get us enough to uh, to set up a loop for the coal production. Eight. How are we? Is that that's nowhere near enough? You're gonna go there, and I guess we'll go ahead and make a cut a couple trees. Didn't do that any of that yet. That's usually the first thing you do in this, but. Since we have a coal patch right near, we might as well just harvest our coal first. Quite often you'll start by just grabbing some, some sticks to throw, some wood to throw in for your fuel, but we've got to dodge that bullet. I don't want to take out a ton of trees, because they are definitely the end all and be a stop. Oh shoot, didn't mean to make that. That's what we meant to make. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and make a wooden box as well. Actually, we don't need that wooden box, so that was pointless. Uh, we'll go there. That's two of them fueling. So let's see about one more drill, and we can put him on the copper. Where's the copper? Right down here. So we'll stick him down on this corner, get that copper going. Um, that would be nice, but not essential at the moment. We'll actually keep that. And we'll start him right there. Good. And can we put in the drill yet? No. Fuel, please. Yes. Grab you fuel. See how easy it is to grab fuel from them? <coughs> 24 plates. There we go. Alright, keep it going. Grab a bit more fuel while we stand around and wait. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I'm having a drink here with this uh, hacky throat time. Alright. What do we got? We got enough to make another one. Good. Chests can go over there in their spot. Burner drill there. Get you guys harvesting. Good. And uh, half in there, half there, there's in there. We're producing relatively quickly now. Let's see, these guys smelt at a rate of what? Um, what, about four or five seconds to produce one? Something like that. Uh, let's, it's 3.5, I think, standard, but these guys produce at five, so about seven seconds maybe to produce one. Uh, one, two, three, four. I don't know if that's remotely accurate, but it's probably, I think it's about seven seconds. Well, you know what? We don't have enough for you to keep burning. Good. And 21 more fuel there. Good, good, good. Keep me going. Get me some more of these burners. There we go. That'll get us a, uh... oh, we gotta get some more fuel for you. Uh, seven's not a lot of fuel. Not a lot of fuel. In there. Go ahead and fuel you up. Uh, actually, I think we'll fuel like that. Because the burner drills take more fuel than the other stuff. Than the furnaces do. You're going to need more stone here right away, though. Uh, let's see if we can run off and grab some stone from the side. How are we doing on fuel? 7, 15, 4. Put half you. 
and the rest of you, 12, 8, 13, good. All right, let's see, can we find some more of those big stones? Not really, any in the trees? I'm not seeing them. Gotta be careful we don't get too close to biters. That'll get us messed up quick. Now there's another big worm. She's, oh, there's one. That says, uh, ooh, right up top there, top north, top left of the map. See that? Mm hmm. Don't go wandering out, please. We're just gonna quietly come in here and harvest this, okay? How close do we need to be there? That's as close as far as we can be standing to do it. Grab it and run. That's 60 stone. What are we gonna tick off up here? Are we gonna get any attention if we do this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh that's troubling. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ow. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Youch. Well they didn't like that. Not one little bit. Don't think we're going to be able to get over there without getting them upset. See if we can try one more time. Come on. Come on. Oh, maybe. There's one just to our left I didn't notice. Like half a step over. Oh, no! Do we have the plates to make it? Yeah. Whew, I think we need to get out of here. We only have five five uh, clips left in our, for our gun, and we are at 100 stone. That should do for now. There's 20 drills or uh, furnaces. Yikes, okay, not needing to get into fights that early. <clears throat> I could have gone over and harvested the stone from the patch, but this is more exciting. Uh, also more deadly. So let's not do that anymore. That was silly. Well, still burning away, good. Good to see. Uh, we need some steel iron. Do you have some iron for us? You do. Five drills. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade to... Oh, I need some coal down here for these guys. <clears throat> 25 copper. That should be nice. We're going to need 25 for an electric drill. Uh, there's the copper we need for the offshore pump to get our power going. We'll go with 510. It'll give us 20 power lines. That should be plenty for now. Uh, let's get a couple of these drills set up here so we expand our coal production. Let's see what we got. 38 total that we're gonna need we have the burner inserter we got our coal we're gonna need a boiler and then we're going to need 200 iron to get our steam engines going well one in steam engine should be good now let's think through how we're gonna use this steam this space <clears throat> I could have power where are we gonna put power we could put power out like from here and just run a big line of power so this is the new boiler it's a two by three and it basically goes like this and then the water runs down the line like that so we could do this sort of a deal here where um, where we have a bunch of them running along here that would give us sort of the space we need and then uh, yeah, and then the water pumps in here, and you can see when you actually place them. Uh, oh, if I hit Alt. Um, water comes in here and runs along the outer bar from one to the next. Of course, we'll have to put in a pipe in between those. The reason I do that is because early power poles won't fit in anywhere here, because these are actually three by two. And then the boiler goes, or the steam engine goes right next to it, so you wouldn't be able to fit them. So you kind of got to space them so you can do sort of a, like that sort of thing to get them all the way along. Doop -a doop doop doo doo doo. Oh, fishes. I think we should grab fishes right away because there's five of them in each harvest and they give us a big giant hunk of healing. I think 75 or something like that. Let's put them on the hot bar right away. Lock them in place. Put our power poles over there. These guys can get out of the way. Now, here's the deal the boiler produces enough water for. Um, 
in that boiler, the offshore pump produces enough water for 10 of these guys. I think what we're going to do is take this guy out, phantom him back in there, and then go up here and put the first one up top. Um, like that. That gives us how many? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14. I think that'll be good for now. 14 of them. Um, actually, let's get rid of those. 12 should be fine. Where's our, our, our offshore pump? There you are. And give me... Hmm... I don't think that's going to fit, actually. Is it? Can we do that? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Stuck them in the wrong place to do that. Um, hmm. What about this? How are we doing with stuff down here? we got to take care of these things. Oh, yeah, we're out of fuel. Good. You guys can fuel those things, those things, and that, and that. I got some more work can be done here. Let's do it. Good. And let's go ahead and do this. Oops. There. Like that. There we go. Now we're producing. Where do we run the water? Do we just run it in here? We don't want to run these guys too far over because they're going to block that. Oh, you know what? I want space here. I can't build there. Ugh. Wrong place. We're going to have to go over one more spot if we're going to do this. Ugh. I think we'll go up as far as this then. Put this guy in here, and then we can do this to let us walk behind, and then we can put you in there. Are we going to get a belt in there? We can run the belt this way. Oops, not in there. We run a belt like that. Down to somewhere around there. Get you over there. And you, I want to plan things out intentionally ahead of time because we will not be able to afford not doing that in this episode, in this series. There, there, and there. It's going to have to be compacted, so we're not going to... Sometimes I do like the double in between them, so they're like you use an underground so you can run by, but I don't think that's going to be something we can afford doing. Um, I like that. Good. And we'll start the first one up there. Grab a piece of pipe. Put it in place up here. That gets our water connection. And then we need the wa the power to run this way. A uh, new feature that allows you to Q, hit Q over something that you have in your inventory. I don't have any of these in my inventory, so it thuds at us. And uh, Q, there you go, you got it. And it puts in your in, in your hand. It's like a eyedropper, quite nice. Uh, can I make a boiler? Yes, I or a steam engine. Yes, I can. Can we also make a lab? Yes, we can. In fact, we can make two of them. And we can make five science after that. Lovely. Fuel. You, 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 there, and there. That's good. Blub, 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 blub. He's got 20, he's got 47. Lots of good stuff. I grab as much fuel as I can for that. Is our steam engine done? It sure is. So we got power up this time. It took me a little fiddling around to decide where I want to place everything, but that's all right. It is operational now. We drop the coal in there, and this guy is now producing steam. So it, instead of producing hot water, it pumps steam out into this thing. Really awesome. Uh, our power grid cover it. Yes, it sure does. And we have a lab, and we're going to plop him down here for now and go with go ahead with automation I think will be our first and then we will try to 
get automation and turrets before we get attacked. Anyway, he's got to put in a cut here. That's uh, it for today's episode. Uh, there's 20 science packs. That's half of what we're going to need to do this work. So thank you so much for watching. Like if you do, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, I will see you in-game.